And Lila is asking, what sort of prayers are accepted by Guru Field? There is no restriction in praying. You can pray for anything you want. But what will be accepted depends on your needs. And what will be given depends on what will make you progress. So usually I have seen that uh, if you pray for somebody else, if you pray for the progress of somebody else, then there will be a good response. Something will be given. If you pray for your own progress, please remove my ignorance. Please remove all the hurdles to the ignorance. Something will be done. We don't know when it will be done. And if you pray for, uh, let us say, some worldly things, please improve my relations, please give me money and so on, you see. Or please make me healthy. And the chances are very less that it will be accepted. The chances are very less that it will be even heard. Because obviously it is not going to make you progress. That which is required for your progress has already been, has been given. What is that? Good intelligence and a guru. You don't need more than that. Isn't it? Now what are you praying for? It must be something <laughs> unnecessary. So most of the time, only that which is given will be enforced a little bit. So the tendency of the guru field is to spread knowledge. That's all. The, the tendency is not to fulfill your desires. Will, they will never do that. Sometimes it happens that your desires align with your progress, align with, with your path. For example, you are guruless. You don't have a guru. You don't have a path. Now you need to pray and that will be accepted. And now even and the physical rules will be bent or you know some coincidence will be set up specially for you. So that in this lifetime you can meet your guru, get the guru, come in contact somehow. It can be as small as you know as getting a book or it can be a direct meeting also sometimes. Sometimes and the message is sent directly to the guru that look this person needs your help. He is your disciple in the past life or something like this. And the guru then, then does the physical effort to find it, find that person. So it is very rare. It is very rare. But uh, that uh, something which is common is sooner or later you will be helped in your spiritual effort. Lela is saying, I am praying for my progress. No need. <laughs> you are progressing. As soon as you decide that I want to follow a path and as soon as you have a guru, and you, you are following the instructions. Not like these people who I am tired of banning these people. Not like them. You are following the instructions. You are progressing. Now your prayer should be thank you that you have given me something. Now it is your effort, you see. What can the Guru field do for you? So now something is given. Now you need to utilize it. Utilize it for your progress. If there are, are any obstacles that uh, prevent you from progressing, then you can pray for that. You should be a little bit more specific when it is about obstacles. Like you can say, please remove all the obstacles. Yes, that will be, you know, done. But if you are, if you are very specific that this obstacle, this one, I cannot remove it. I am not able to handle it. It is something much bigger than my capacity. Something supernatural, something related to health, which cannot cure easily. You, you need to be specific about it. And you will see better results. If it is about somebody, like please remove this person from life, my life and so on. And uh, you will find that you will be removed from his life. That person will be will remain untouched. So be careful what you ask for because, you know, sometimes you don't want it. If you have a living guru, you don't need to pray to guru field. Sometimes I encourage people, you know, pray directly. Why are you asking me? But in, in these matters where there can be consequences, you should ask me. Then we can manipulate the words somehow of the prayer. We can change the words so, so that the consequences are minimized. Always remember that whatever you pray, whatever the words are of prayer, everything will be arranged so that you lose something always. You will never gain something. Something or the other will be lost from your life. Remember the tendency of the guru field is to liberate you, not to bound you or not to make you dependent on the prayers. Sometimes exactly opposite will be done to teach you a lesson that you are not using your intelligence. The best way is to make an effort, at least make a symbolic effort and then pray that now I am doing this and this, please 
make me successful please give me enough wisdom so that i can accomplish this work this kind of prayer will be answered will be granted if you just sit there okay make me a big guru today <laughs> nothing nothing will happen so it is an experimental field you should experiment see what works see what does not work i have seen that one thing that works for sure is the praying for the benefit of others especially those who have the potential for growth if you ask for help for others it is always done vipin is saying whatever comes is accepted and is done without preferences with intelligence and awareness nothing is intended much is it fine not to intend anything and work for whatever maya shows up it is not possible to act without any intention if there is no intention no action is possible and that that which will be possible will be will be called vegetative existence and that is also not without intention when the cells divide we say that it is it was the intention of the cell to divide it looks like an intelligent behavior it is not dividing randomly for no purpose so whenever a purpose is seen we say there is an intention behind it so nothing happens without the intention so he is asking is it fine not to intend it is not possible is it possible to stop the intentions is anybody in charge of intending or not intending is there any doer so probably you are still thinking that i am doing it i am intending it i am doing it with intelligence and awareness without preferences this is all false only an ignorant person will think like this so you see what is the knowledge that there is no me there is no individual there is no doer now whatever happens is already being done by the maya it's already being done automatically there is nobody to intend so at the level of the maya level of the illusion sometimes we say you know have a strong intention then you will get it done and so on and that is false language that is the language of ignorance so at that level we understand what we are talking about but here it looks like you are mixing stuff it is not possible to not to intend because that will be an intention isn't it i intend not to intend i desire not to desire it's not possible you see so he is asking isn't it working detached probably you mean acting without attachment that is an intention isn't it i don't want to be attached so lots of concepts mixed up by vipin well i think perhaps he is as talking about desire not intention and there is not much much difference between intention and desire <laughs> will desire intention wish ultimately same thing ultimately it is a motive force so i i don't know what he is talking about but it is not fine actually that you are thinking like this bring some clarity in your thinking if you want to talk on the level of the illusion then you must talk in terms of intentions and actions is perfectly okay but if you want to talk on the absolute level like the duality non duality then these questions are meaningless because already happening according to the intention of nobody aditya is saying without intention it's not karma it's leela and our consciousness is not at the level yet is from my knowledge yes very good you see my intention immediately causes an impression in the causal body that it is mine now it is owned now it is stored that is what we call attachment to the action so it is not possible not to intend but it is possible to give up the ownership of the intention that is possible only when you are in complete awareness and that is what we teach in this program step number 4 be in complete awareness you are not the doer you are the observer you are the witness now let the intention come and let them act and let them do whatever they do this is not me problem solved now will there be any question if it is fine or not am i doing something wrong or because you are not doing anything right or wrong you are the witness this is what we call awareness this is the only practice you have Lela is saying desires do not belong to any when they come and go. Some are acted on, others not, depending on the strength of the desire. Yes, you are in awareness. You see, right now at least. What is the formula here for a person on the path of knowledge? How to deal with the desires? Actually, we have said this many times. But if you forgot, let there be desire, any kind. Don't worry about it. See if it is necessary or not. Engage the intelligence here, fully knowing. that it is not mine let there be action if it is necessary and will there be an action if there are no means to fulfill the desire no there won't be any action so simply watch the desire arise and then fall 
because there is nothing can be done there is no means to fulfill the desire right now so you say to yourself well today it's not possible some other day be peaceful quiet no drama needed and if there is means to fulfill it and if it is necessary or if it is entertaining play you do it if it is totally unnecessary and the desire is there you should let it let it arise and it will go away it will come back some other day and do the same thing fully knowing that they are not mine fully knowing that nobody is acting fully knowing that i am not taking the decisions these decisions are being taken by the intellect which are now programmed to act in awareness not in darkness so little bit control we say we say you have achieved control because of awareness you are controlling your mind you are controlling your actions and what is the benefit of this obviously a lot of benefits are there yashraj is saying just like playing with a kid yes accept the fair demands of the kid kid is hungry feed him <laughs> and if he demands something a knife or a gun now you should not isn't it very simple this formula is so simple that your life will become effortless and then some people are there who will still you know ask these questions what about my plans should i shouldn't i do something for my life i have many many desires i want to be this and that same formula you see being in awareness is not like uh, acting mechanically acting on a program acting intelligently it is not a non action also because non action is also an action isn't it the true non action is letting the action happen without taking the ownership of it so you will see that all actions are actually non actions the only aberration the only mistake was assuming that they are mine i am doing it and that is that is the only thing you see such a small thing that was the only ignorance just like when it rains you do, do not say it is my rain this this these, these drops are mine they are not mine we never make this mistake but when the shower of the desires happen what do we say my desire this is the problem when the rain happens the water flows through any available channel goes wherever it wants to go same way when the desire comes it flows through any available channel your thoughts your voice speech or the organs of action if the means is available it will go there nobody can stop it there is nobody to stop it nobody can allow it nobody to allow it you are the witness there will be control over it which will make your journey smoother if you follow this formula it is not possible to do this control thing without awareness and it is not possible to have the awareness without self knowledge knowledge of who am i 